Christine, your toughest moment? My toughest moment? I mean, I'm thinking a little bit. It's, uh, you know, um, film production's a little bit like childbirth. When it's over, you forget about it, because <laughs> otherwise you'd <laughs> never do it again, <laughs> you know? Uh, toughest for us, I think, is we make a lot of female-driven uh, films, and those are, you know, uh, convincing, you know, convincing financiers, studios, et cetera, that there's an audience for those movies when there obviously is, mm -hmm. is difficult. And the casting pressures that it puts on us, you know, as we said, it's called Still Alice, not Still Alice and John. Uh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on Sundays? Nothing in particular. What do you do? Oh, nothing lately. I mean, if you'd like to come visit me sometime, you're welcome to. At least there's some pretty country around where I live. Would you like to come visit me this Sunday? Yes. <laughs> Christine, you stayed away from the studio system by and large. Why? Um, you know, I, I guess just the the kinds of movies that Killer makes, um, you know, tend to be movies that are better served by independent financing. In other words, they're very execution dependent, meaning that they're not worth anything unless they're good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's often very hard to get a studio involved early on on something that tends to be that original. They often will acquire them afterwards, you know, uh, once, you know, once we've proved that actually, you know, there was, was something, was, you know, that, that what we saw in it, in fact, did exist. But I think that's why, and that kind of independent film, uh, that kind of independent financing gives us the, um, the freedom to make the movie very much the way we want to. I mean, it comes with its drawbacks, too. Uh, there's often just not enough of it, and it's hard to expand, you know. It's hard to go over budget. Um, so there's really nowhere to go. So, uh, so that's tough. But since we work with a lot of filmmakers who have, you know, extremely original visions, which is what makes their work interesting, um, it's, you know, it's, it has served us in the best way. Mm. Hollywood can be a very secretive place, and this year with the Sony hack, we saw a lot of the behind the scenes things in the industry come out in the open. What's something that you learned from the information that was released in that hack? I think I learned, you know, don't, there's a lot of things you just shouldn't email. Right. <laughs> <laughs>